So one of the things, um, I think Sudevi has already covered this in the Ahara. So you have the guna of the earth. You know, it's heating or cooling or it's drying and so on. And the karma of the herb depends on the guna. So if ginger, um, you know, is heating, then it will help kapha and vata person. And it, the karma also affects the dosha. But prabhava is an action which is independent. It's mystifying. And I think Susan uh, Sudevi has been discussing it. And prabhava is independent of what the guna is. For example, if uh, Haritaki, I'm just going to write that down, is an Ayurvedic herb, it's a Rasayana. That means it is, it's a tonic. Now, you know, the guna of Haritaki is extremely drying. And dry things would normally harm a Vata person. But guess what? Haritaki is the best herb for Vata person. It is Vata Anulom and it is Vata Shamanam. And can anybody tell me what Vata Anuloma means? Anuloma brings the Vata down. So even though it is the most drying herb, it is the best for Vata. Thank you. So this is a Prabhava. It cannot be explained. It is something that is given by uh, Mother Nature. It is given by uh, Moon, Somya, the cooling rays of the the moon, Samya. Let's talk about Ama Lucky. Just to give you, you know, and I think uh, Parnaji discussed it last time. Ama Lucky is, Prabhava is not an exception. Prabhava is very important. Uh, Prabhava, everything is a Prabhava irrespective of its, for example, if something, you know, honey, for example, is another example. Honey is heating. We've been having all these. Honey is heating, right? So it should be great for, uh, honey is sweet, but it should be cooling because sweet things are usually cooling. But instead it's heating and cannot really give a lot of that to a pitta person because it will also dry them out. Now let's talk about amalaki. Amalaki is gooseberry. Has anyone had gooseberry? This is Indian gooseberry. And the Pradhana Rasa. Pradhana means dominant Rasa. Dominant Rasa, Pradhana Rasa is sour. Is our sour things good for Pitta or not? But Amalaki is Pitta Shaman. It is the best Pitta Shaman. It is the best herb for Pitta person because of its prabhava that cannot be explained. It cannot be explained. It's given by it's a divine thing. Not every herb is like that. I'm specifically giving example of herbs that, um, you know, kind of are mystifying. So if you look at Trifala, Trifala is one part Haritaki, one part Amalaki. I mean, when you dry it, it's one uh, portion of dried Haritaki, one portion of dried amalaki and one portion of dried bibitaki. And it has all the taste. That is why it's tribosha, right? So prabhava, when we are talking about some common spices that you are going to be using in your ahara module. Now cardamom, we really want you to, um, when you're talking about cardamom, use fresh cardamom. And it loses its um, efficacy very, very, very quickly and aroma. So freshly ground cardamom, always best. Rita is from Kerala, and they have all these cardamom farms there. And you know, if you if you're walking in one of the cardamom forests, you can smell it from miles. And uh, we have some friends who have uh, who bring cardamom from Kerala, and the whole house is permeated with the smell of um, these spices. You cannot imagine the stuff that is sold here. And if you go down to Kerala or Bangalore or all these places where these forests are, it is the whole house. I mean, you have to come here. So she bought me about 250 grams of cardamom, and you know we, we we opened it, and the whole house was smelling the cinnamon, black pepper. You can smell black pepper in Kerala everywhere. Coconut. Yes, the black. I was just saying black pepper. So you have, you know, when it's coming from there, it's fresh. It's great. I mean, we grow some uh, California red pepper, and you know, we bring it in, and I try and dry it. It's not. The black pepper. So uh, 
the cardamom that we should use should be fresh and freshly ground. And coriander, also cilantro has similar properties. Coriander seeds, coriander seeds. So think of this as have fresh coriander seeds in the house. So Dr. Parna gave example of boiling the coriander and making a tashaya for uh, for infants and. <laughs> Rita, you will have to take this all to Kerala. I cannot speak Malayalam. I'm lost there. I always need a, uh, and I need someone to translate. <laughs> we can take uh, Dr. Sahana with us. She learned Malayalam just to, because she did her internship in Kerala. Yes, they do. But, you know, you go down to the, yes. All right. Then uh, coriander, we, we, here we really talk about coriander seeds. And the fresh coriander and coriander seeds will have slightly different properties. This is what we do in the herb or the dravya module. So I kind of wanted to point that out. It, and also when you mix these things with other things, for example, there are three things here. Coriander is deepan and pachan and agni mandenashaka. Okay, and it's kumikna. And let's look at another herb, which is fennel is deepan, pachan, anulom, and shulabrashman. And let's look at... Cumin, again, deepen, pachan, anulom. So very similar. So you can combine herbs that are kind of similar, and when you combine them together, the efficacy is increased three times. And another thing I wanted to point out, this particular cumin is a shweta jirata, white cumin, which is the regular cumin that, you know, even Italians use. Black cumin, which is a Krishna jiraka, is a, you know, different um, entity. Very quickly, does anybody have the book by Sebastian Pohl, Ayurvedic Medicine? I know we don't start Dravya for, yes. So if you have the book, let me open it. You can actually, uh, how many people have the book? If not, you can go to, I think, if you have the book for every single herb he has given the energetic and Ayurvedic action, Deepan, Pachan, Bhedaniya, Kushtagna, Vahikarana, Shukrala, or so on and so forth. So you can find the properties of Krishna Jiraka and Shweta Jiraka. I think you should have both the Krishna Jiraka. Krishna means dark. I don't yet like to use the word black for my, my Krishna. Krishna means dark and Shweta means white. So you should have both and they have different properties. Okay? Hingu is a Sanskrit word. Now, hingu, you really don't want to combine with, with anything because it's so strong. So the hingu that we get from Indian store has a little bit of wheat or maida, um, white flour mixed in. The name of the book is Ayurvedic. I don't know if you've heard of Paka Herbs. He, yes, it's called Ayurvedic Medicine, The Principles of Traditional Practice. I can share it and show you in, in a minute. And one of the things that I want you to go, even though you're not going to start Dravya for a while, I know Kristen has done a little bit and so is Tina. I'm just going to share you a few things. And this is something you cannot learn in one class. So you have to be going and reading these things. How can Hingu be used? So one of the children on, if you, are, you know, like, uh, I think Tina and Kristen, you came in the last year's workshop on Ayurvedic herbs. So one churam is called Hindu Vashta churam. So people who have uh, indigestion, so Hingu is not being used by itself here. Hingu that's used in the food is different, but Hingu Vashta churam can get it from Indian stores, uh, you know, on Amazon. It's simply um, eight parts of different salts and one part Hingu and, you know, different uh, eight parts of Hingu and different parts of salt. Ashtak means eight parts. And it's in a churnam form, and you actually cannot get a tablet. You have to put it on your tongue, like a pinch, while you're having a meal, in between meals, especially for people who get bloating and gas. So who gets bloating and gas? Everybody who's vata. Who will. I just recently had a very wonderful lady who bought her 18-year-old vata. She was fighting with me. I will not give up, uh, uh, you know, salads. She just kept on fighting. Me. I, there's no way. That's the only thing I can do. So I said, fine, have salads, but have them in the afternoon and add hingavashtak sunam and food chart powder. 
you can get this from Indian store. It's got dry mango, dry pomegranate. I mean, it's got a lot of things, a lot of sauce. And if you add that in the raw food, and I asked her to add ghee in the in the dressing, so at least it'll be a little better for her to digest. Yes, I'm talking about hingavashta chuna, not the spice. Yeah, so Kristen, you can also start using hingavashta churnam because, you know, your postpartum, uh, that would be fine for you, except, you know, it's a little bit heating, so you want to keep it very low as well. I'm also postpartum. Okay, um, so here we're talking about hingavashta churnam, we talked about cumin. So here in we're talking about shreta jiraka, because when we made this presentation, this was meant for ahara, not meant for dravya. So I want to make it clear these are two different um, jiras, they're two different humans. All right, ginger. Ginger and turmeric are the same family, right off the bat. So ginger and turmeric. You have white turmeric and you have yellow turmeric. Um, you've got into buying very fresh white and yellow turmeric because it has better bioavailability and better absorption. Turmeric is one um, herb that has like the poorest absorption. So you, it is only increased, the curcuma, the curcumin is only comes out when you cook it in fats, uh, and it's almost, it's fat absorbed, and it won't be absorbed by the body during its fats, and it, or it's absorbed less, uh, which reminds me there's, uh, there's an article in Times and, uh, that fat, the, they have found, there's been a study done that butter and fat is not the bad guy, sugar and refined carbs are, so maybe I'll send you guys a link. So a lot of, like, of course, you know, all the, a lot of herbs, they need something to take them deeper into the tissues, and that's why we're cooking them or we are using them with ghee and so on. So turmeric is the same family. You know, ginger has a very broad family. Same family as ginger. So look at the properties here. Uh, where did ginger go? Deepan, Pachan, Rasayan, Amanashap. So look at the analgesic, reduces feeling the cold, removes what, uh, Piles, absorbs fluid, stops hiccups, anemic, destroys. So turmeric would have all of these and more, depending on how the turmeric is fresh, white, or yellow. So this is a ginger property. Again, lekhan, scraping property, uh, deepen, kindle, pramehan, useful in diabetes because it helps to regulate the blood sugar. Pandu, useful in anemia. Uh, Jaragna alleviate, alleviates fever, but tr ginger does not alleviate fever unless it's a fever that is related to respiratory disorders. And turmeric is heating. So what do you do to, uh, so to answer the next question, if you're taking something which is heating but you heat it because you're pitta, you add something, pitta pacifying, pitta shamanam. Or pitta prashamanam. One that pacifies pitta, for example, you add it with ghee or aloe vera. So it doesn't mean you cannot have it. Same thing. So uh, here's tomorrow you can do turmeric with uh, ghee. And for uh, to, when you're giving someone who has who's pre diabetic turmeric, you give them thick the ghee, means you make a ghee which has five or panchatitta ghee. This is turning out to be an uh, herb class. So we have a lot of the people in this class. They will just go around buying herbs, and I'm, I was thinking, oh my god, it'll be so much confusion. <laughs> Panchatikta means five bitters. So you take ghee and you add bitter things. For example, you could do neem. You could do. Um, Okay. This is my formula. Neem, shardonica, turmeric, karela, jamun, these five herbs cooked in ghee. But this is not a traditional panchatik, the ghee, five bitters. Neem powder. And then the efficacy is increased a lot. Uh, okay. So what kind of jwaragna that's different? So again, you will learn this in the Dravya module. It, there's seven or eight different kinds of fever. This is a block three topic. So please remember this is not the 
this is not the, you know, usually things to do with too much mucus and so on. So what kind of fever is important? Complexion enhancer. If you go to an Indian store, and let me just pause this. Properties of dry ginger, properties of fresh ginger juice, macerated ginger and ginger paste all become different because you're changing the pancha mahabhotic chemistry of the food, which is what you're doing in the module. Cinnamon, dry uh, cinnamon bark and cinnamon boiled in water, cinnamon boiled in milk, cinnamon with honey. The efficacy is increasing and you're customizing it. Again, it's a drug module thing. So that's all I kind of wanted to add. And very quickly in the Sanskrit module, you have this, we haven't updated it. In fact, you know, we are updating it right now and we will put on the updated version in a couple of days. Uh, but in the end of this, so one of the things that you have to do is choose any sutra you like from anywhere. Uh, you can do Sharirindra Satplatma, some Yogadhari Jeevatam. You know, you could pick up something from Bhagavad Gita. You could pick up something from Patanjali Sutra. You actually record your pronunciation, and uh, that's the test. You, you choose one. Ideally, you should be, you know, uh, doing a lot more. In India, Kirti tells me that they had to memorize entire Charak Samhita. Entire, the whole Charak Samhita, that's like 20,000 verses. Uh, we are just asking you to memorize one verse, ideally Ayurvedic, or from Patanjali Sutra, and then, um, you know, you will actually record it and send it to Atul, and then Atul comes back and gives you feedback. It is in the, it's a Sanskrit module. Have you logged into the Sanskrit module? It's right there. So the, this is what Atul is uh, doing tomorrow. And in the end of it are the glossary of Sanskrit words. Again, he's updating it. So uh, log into the Sanskrit module and you can download the Sanskrit module. From there. He's doing this tomorrow, and uh, we were just not sure of what time we want to do it. We want to do it at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So it's 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. Sunday and Samas. It's a very advanced class, so if you don't want to attend, it's okay, but it'll be very, very fun. I am looking forward to it.